Hey guys, so we finally know the full specs of Apple's new iPad 3. So I'm just gonna go over them here pretty quick. So let's just start off with the main things, you know, the, the things that is new. So first of all, the retina display 2048 times 1536. I'm pretty sure I said it right there. Okay, I'm pretty sure I said it right there, but let's just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and go back. Let's just search 20. Yeah, 2048 times 1536, 1 million more pixels. That's the main thing over there. 40% uh, more saturation, so you should have like, yeah, as I said, 40% more saturation. Show should be, uh, of course, much, much better, uh, you know, the, the screen. And it's a retina display if uh, if you are looking from it from you know 15 inches away uh, the because it's made for that the iPhone 4s and iPhone 4 is made if they watch you know 10 inch away so then they, it also becomes retina second a5x processor this is a new processor a quad core processor that they are saying is twice as fast and gives four times more performance comparing to Tegra 3 that we have in Asus transfer prime a ton of new smartphones coming out so that, that's uh, gonna be kind of interesting. Then we have this new camera. It's a new eyesight camera I suppose that's on the front uh, that they're calling it eyesight 5 megapixel camera And also that comes with 1080p video recording something that they also want to say now does it come with Siri? No, it doesn't come with Siri, but it comes with the voice dictation that uh, you know when you type something you can say it So it, it's kind of you know halfway Siri that you're gonna get on this new iPad and then one very big thing if you live in the state is 4G LTE is going to be available both on AT&T and Verizon uh, and also you'll be able to use hotspot uh, tethering if, if uh, the carrier supports that so here you can see also some pictures as you can see it kind of looks uh, the same 9.4 millimeter thin so it's a little bit thicker uh, but it will have like the same pricing and be have a little more tapered edges uh, some more yeah there we go you can see the voice dictation uses in the iPhone 4s HD 1080p video stabilization. I'm not quite sure if this is the same. I don't think it's the same exactly camera as you would get in the iPhone 4s because that we didn't see that with the iPad 2. Um, you know, uh, 5 megapixel as I said there, advanced optics with hour filter, autofocus and white balance. Okay, that's good. And then also you can see that they, they do look, I think, a little bit different here on the, uh, on the, on the other side and looks uh, a bit more tapered, I think. Um, then uh, here we go, 44% greater saturation, A5X quad core graphics. So we didn't get this new A A A6, um, but uh, still, it's it's quad core. They're saying it's better, so it will be very interesting to see benchmarking tests of this if it really is twice as fast and you know in what kind of benchmarking test. But of course, we're gonna get that from you know those good uh, websites that know what they're doing. And also the launch, uh, March the 16th. That was actually a, a correct rumor. It's a very big launch here with a ton of countries already over here, but uh, here is not of course my country But just like a week later uh, on March the 23rd They're gonna unveil it in a ton of extra countries. So that's kind of sweet. So uh, are you gonna buy the new iPad 3? I actually think that uh, it sounds pretty good actually Retina display, quad core graphics, gonna be fun to compare that to uh, my Android Transform Prime, Tegra 3. Really see which one I do enjoy the most. But uh, are you gonna pick up a new iPad? Are you gonna wait to see if Samsung is gonna unveil the Galaxy Tab with their like Exynos config and maybe 1080p display? It will be interesting at least to see. And uh, the PPI was 276, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, and, uh, they are kind of clever here actually. They are saying that you need to hold the iPad a little further away, and then it obviously, c and then they could call it Retina. So Apple is extremely clever in saying things like that. So yeah, but uh, here was used the full specs from Engadget's little live blog, and they were also comparing HPA uh, versus 4G LT, and I'm actually very very excited. Uh, about this new iPad, it, it was actually uh, some pretty good specs. I mean, uh, it's it's fun, and this is what happens when you get competition. You start produce better products all the time, and uh, yeah. So see ya, bye bye.